Hello, YouTubers. This is Triple Seven Diehard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today, I'll be doing a review on a JC Wings Airbus A321 Neo LR new engine option aircraft, the long range version in their Paris to New York house colors livery scheme in a 1200 scale model. I purchased this model on eBay because that's the only place I can get it at the time of this video review posting. But before I go into details about this particular aircraft, please allow me to share with you some history about the aircraft manufacturer Airbus and how they actually came about. Airbus Industry is a European multinational corporation that was formally established as a GIE, a Groupement d'Entre Economic or Economic Interest Group, on December 18, 1970, as the aerospace manufacturer was formed by a government initiative that took place between France, Germany, and the United Kingdom that originated three years prior in 1967. The name Airbus was taken from a non-proprietary term used by the airline industry in the 1960s to refer to a commercial aircraft of a certain size and range, for this term was acceptable to the French linguistically. Airbus industry actually began as a consortium of European aviation firms along with the consolidation of European defense and aerospace companies that actually designs, manufactures, and sells military and civil aeronautical products worldwide to compete with American aerospace companies such as Lockheed Martin, McDonnell Douglas, and Boeing respectively. As of June 2023, or at the time of this video review posting, Airbus is currently the world's largest aircraft manufacturer, whereas the registered headquarters of Airbus Industry is located in Leiden, Netherlands, with its corporate head office is located in the Toulouse suburb of Blagnac, France, with production and manufacturing facilities that's located mainly in France, Germany, Spain, China, the United Kingdom, and the United States of America, whereas their final assembly production facilities are located in Toulouse, France, Hamburg, Germany, Seville, Spain, Tianjin, China, Mobile, Alabama, and Meyerbeer, Montreal, Canada as well. And the Airbus destination code for this particular aircraft is 51NX. All right, everyone. Let's take a look at the front of the box here. And you see the top of it, you see the aircraft type. See the aircraft variant. And then you see the unbeatable fuel efficiency as well as the 1200 scale diecast model information at the front of the box. All right, now you're looking at the back of the box. You see the aircraft type, the new Airbus A321. You see the two versions there as well as the length and the width of the specification of this particular aircraft model. You can pause and read that information if you like. In the meantime, I'm going to keep this moving. All right, so let's keep it moving. All right, now you're looking at the top of the box, and this is the one of the versions here. I passed on this one. So you see the aircraft type, the unbeatable fuel efficiency, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, the registration ship number, as well as the 1200 scale diecast aircraft model you see there at the top of the box. All right, now you're looking at the uh, bottom of the box, and this is the actual version that I got, and you see a check right there. You see the unbeatable fuel efficiency, now flying long range, the aircraft type, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft as well. All right, now you're looking at the actual model stand that actually came with the model, and you see at the bottom of the model stand, you see the aircraft type as well as the scale model information, and then you come up here to the top of the model stand, you see that black pattern there, folks. The sole purpose of that black pattern, folks, is not only it protects your model, it also prevents from being damaged or scratched when you decide you want to put your aircraft on this particular model stand, okay? All right, with all that information out of the way about the history of the Airbus uh, aerospace manufacturing giant, the aircraft maker, plus all the details here on this box, as well as the back of the box, plus the actual model stand that came with the model. And since there's no gear replacement doors for this particular model stand, with no further ado, everyone, here is the actual model out of the packaging box. Check it out. There it is, everyone. The JC Wings Airbus A321 Neo slash LR, the new engine option aircraft, the long range version in their Paris, the New York house cars livery scheme and a 1200 scale model. All right, allow me to share with you some information about the Airbus A321 Neo slash LR new engine option long range jetliner version aircraft and how that actually came about. 
It began back in October 2014 when aircraft manufacturer Airbus decided to go about and started marketing a 97-ton MTOW maximum takeoff weight Airbus A321 variant to various airlines from around the world in which this particular aircraft type would feature three auxiliary fuel tanks which will allow this particular aircraft type more operational range to fly an additional 100 nautical miles or 120 miles farther than the Boeing 757-200. And that's when Airbus came up with the ideal and decided to call this particular aircraft type the Airbus A321neo new engine option long range next generation aircraft. The Airbus A321neo slash LR new engine option air uh, new engine option long range next generation aircraft is actually the fifth aircraft variant of the Airbus A321 family after the Airbus A321-100 variant, the Airbus A321-200 variant, the Airbus A321 CEO current engine option variant as well as the Airbus A321neo new engine option aircraft variant. That was actually produced and built by the European Aerospace and Aircraft Maker Airbus Industry. As the program for the Airbus A321neo slash LR new engine option slash long range aircraft variant was officially launched on January 13, 2015 and completed its very first test flight three years later on January 31, 2018. Then this particular aircraft type was officially certified by the European Aviation Safety Agency as well as the United States Federal Aviation Administration eight months later on October 2, 2018. As the very first aircraft of this particular type was originally scheduled to be delivered to launch customer Primaria Air Scandinavia, but since that particular airline carrier officially ceased operations as an airline on October 2nd, 2018, the very first Airbus A321neo slash LR new engine option slash long range aircraft was instead delivered to Tel Aviv based Arkea Israeli Airlines on November 13, 2018. And at the time of this video review posting, as in addition to Arkia Ar Ar Israeli Airlines receiving the very first Airbus A321-NEO-LR new engine option long range next generation aircraft on November 13, 2018, the Airbus A321-NEO-LR new engine option slash long range next generation aircraft has received over 120 plus orders from 17 airlines from around the world and counting. As the current airline operators are Air Lingus, Air Arabia, Air Astania, Gulf Air, Indigo, JetBlue, Jetstar, Norwegian Air Shuttle, Peach, Chindao Airlines, SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, TAP Portugal, and Wiz Air, who is currently the largest airline operator of this particular aircraft type with 47 in their fleet. As the Airbus A321neo slash LR new engine option long range next generation aircraft was actually designed to compete directly against the Boeing 737-900ER, the Boeing 757-200, as well as the Boeing 757-300 variant. As this particular aircraft will be, become the go-to aircraft for most airlines for their alternate long range as well as their long haul flight operations in the foreseeable future. Well everyone. With all that information I way about this particular aircraft and how it came about, look at it's pretty doing well. With no further ado, let's get down to the nitty gritty and let me show you all the details on this aircraft mount, shall we? Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the port slash so left side. We're going to start at the front as always, where you see the front nose landing gears, the landing gear struts, the landing gear doors. You see the Peter tubes and the static ports, what have you, the radon nose cone the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows. I'm going to give you a better visual view of those details later on in the mile review. But right to the right side of the L1 entrance door is the Airbus A321neo decal, which is this decal right here. And this specialized decal indicates the actual aircraft variant of this particular aircraft type, the Airbus A321neo new engine option aircraft variant. All right, now you're looking at the center of the aircraft here on the port side. And what you're looking at above the windows is the unbeatable fuel efficiency now flying long range slogan, which is this slogan right here. And this slogan has actually become the actual slogan for this particular aircraft type in which this aircraft features a combination of new generation engines, 
along with some of the latest technologies which will ultimately create better and more efficient ways for airlines as well as passengers to fly this aircraft with long-range capabilities while sustaining fuel efficiency at the same time. And now underneath, now underneath the window, you see the iconic landmarks, the Statue of Liberty and the Eiffel Tower, which is the Statue of Liberty here, and then there's the Eiffel Tower there. These are the iconic landmarks, which represents the city pair examples where this particular aircraft can actually fly to and from according to the aircraft's long-range flying capabilities, whereas the Statue of Liberty is located in New York City, while the Eiffel Tower, on the other hand, is located in Paris, France. And then now you're looking at underneath uh, the wings here. You got the nice little landing gears here, including the landing gear doors. And then more important, you see these nice massive engines. And these are the CFMI Leap Leading Edge Aviation Propulsion Dash 1 Alpha 32 turbofan type engines that are actually used on this particular Airbus A321 Neo slash LR new engine option long range next generation experimental prototype aircraft. You can see the engine cones there, the engine strikes there. Now I'm going to turn this aircraft model around and we're going to see if the turbo fan blades do spin. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port side's left side where you see the engine strikes on both sides here as well as there. Now let's see if the turbo fan blades do actually spin. Check it out. Yeah, a little tough, tough challenge there. Yeah, they spin. There we go. There you go. And then there's the front vision view of the landing bogey gears, as well as the landing gear struts, as well as the actual landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft, where you got a better vision view of the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the radon nose cone, the front nose landing gear door, landing gear lights inside of the landing gear door, the landing gear struts, as well as the front vision view of the front nose landing gears. Then we come over this way, you see the engines on the starboard side, Oh, God, these engines are a little challenging. There you go. It finally got it spinning, okay? As well as the um, front vision view of the uh, landing bogey gears you see back here, including the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors, okay? All right, we're still on the port side of the aircraft. And what you're looking at is the wingtip devices, which is a little, little deal right here. And it actually began back in 2009, and that's when Airbus came up with another created name for these blended winglets, in which the aircraft manufacturer decided to call them the Sharklets, which is actually designed to enhance payload range performance, resulting in less fuel consumption at the same time. Auckland-based Air New Zealand became the first airline to actually have the Sharklets installed on their Airbus A320 aircraft back in 2012. You also see the, the red navigation light you see right there on the edge of the uh, near that uh, wingtip device. All right, we're at the back of the aircraft here on the port side, and then you right above that's little number seventy eight seventy seven. But more important, the registration ship number D dash A V Z O. Registration ship number D dash A V Z O. This particular aircraft is actually the very first Airbus A321 Neo slash LR new engine option slash long range next generation aircraft that was actually built and served as an experimental prototype. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on January 31st, 2018. And at the time of this video review posting, this aircraft still continued to serve an experimental prototype. All right, now you're looking at the tail fin of the aircraft. We see NEO, which I mentioned earlier, stands for new engine option, as well as the German flag decal right there, where this aircraft was actually built and produced in Hamburg, Germany. All right, now you're looking at the rear of the aircraft, and what you're looking at is the APU, auxiliary powered unit exhaust hole. It ain't no hole there, but you get the idea. And then there's the strobe light underneath the APU exhaust hole, as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Check it out. There it is. Awesome. All right. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard side, where you see the front nose landing gears, the landing gear struts, the landing gear door. See the Peter 2s and the static ports, what have you, the radon right nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit window, the aircraft variant, and the uh, front bulk bin door you see displayed there. 
All right, now you're looking at the center of the aircraft on this side of the aircraft, where you see the uh, the aircraft slowing for this particular aircraft, the unbeatable fuel efficiency, efficiency now flying long range slogan, which is right here. You see the uh, iconic landmarks, the uh, Eiffel Tower, and the Statue of Liberty. And then underneath the uh, engines here, you see the uh, landing bogey gears. You see here, including the landing gear doors, as well as the nice looking CFMI lead, leading edge aviation propulsion dash one alpha 32 turbofan type engines right here. And then the engine cone. And then you see the sharklet blended winglet wingtip device you see displayed there, as well as the green navigation light you see displayed next to this winglet wingtip device. All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft where you see the rear uh, bolt bend door. You see the Eiffel Tower right there, the AFT bolt bend door, the registration ship number, the little number 7877, as well as the uh, the NEO display, which stands for the new engine option, as well as the German flag decal you see displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft. All right, before I show you this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view, as well as the undercarriage belly view in full detail, please allow me to let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gear. Let's check it out. It rolls pretty good. It tilts. The front nose gear is a little challenging, though, as you can see there. It does swivel, though. So with that said, with no further ado, let's check out the aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view. All right, now you're looking at this aircraft model from the area of bird's eye view where we're going to start at the front of the aircraft where you see the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows. Then you slide up this way. You see the uh, high-frequency antenna. You see the Neil uh, billboard title on both sides. And then you come around here, the anti-collision beacon light, the ADF antenna right there. You see the aircraft slogan for this particular aircraft. Then you slide up this way, another high frequency antenna, there's another one, and then there's the uh, tail fin, and then there's the uh, horizontal stabilizer with the warning information, including the little black dot you see there, as well as over here as well. Those little black dots on this horizontal stabilizer are actually called illuminator lights, and the sole purpose of these illuminator lights that it actually light up this tail fin here when it flies during nighttime. Now let's check out the wings and the engines. See the wing walkway, the engines, as well as the flap, slats, aileron spoiler. You see the uh, warning information there. And then there's the uh, sharklet wingtip device you see displayed there. Now let's check out over here. See the engines there, the wing walkway, the warning information, as well as the flap, slats, aileron spoilers, what have you as well as the winglet wing to device on this side of the aircraft as well. Now I'm looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model. We're going to start at the front here. The radon nose cone, the crew escape hatch door, the front nose landing gear door, as well as the front nose landing gear. And then you see a high frequency antenna there. And then you see the aircraft variant, Air A321LR, which stands for long range, the anti-collision beacon light, the hole where the stand goes in at, another high frequency antenna, pressure lead valve, the APU housing door, the horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now let's check out the gears over here. See the, the gears there, the engines, as well as the wings underneath, which includes the flap, slats, aileron, spoilers, what have you as well as the winglet sh sharklet wingtip device over here. Now let's check out the uh, gears over here. Gears there, the engines there, as well as the wings over here underneath, which includes the flap, slats, aileron, spoilers, the registration ship number, as well as the winglet wingtip device on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, since I show you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft mount, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft mount in full detail, now I'm going to put it on that nice looking model stand I showed you earlier that actually came with the model. So with no further ado, everyone, here is the model on the stand. Check it out.
All right, fine, got this model on stand, no problem, no hesitation. As you see it being displayed in the takeoff landing position with the model on the stand. Now, I'm going to let this uh, model rotate in a clockwise rotation, starting at the port side, then you're going to look at the tail cam angle, then the starboard side, then the front of the aircraft, and then back to the port side, okay? Let's check it out. All right, since this particular model does not have gear replacement doors, I'm going to go ahead and take this model off the stand and go ahead and wrap up this model review, okay? All right, let's talk about the seating configuration. Depending on the airline seating configuration, the Airbus A321 Neo slash LR new engine option slash long range next generation aircraft seats up to 206 passengers in a two class configured cabin layout and up to 244 passengers in a single class configured cabin layout respectively. And finally, the Airbus A321 Neo slash LR new engine option long range next generation aircraft will actually fly up to 9 hours at 517 miles per hour non-stop and the maximum flying range for the Airbus A321 Neo slash LR new engine option slash long range next generation aircraft is 4,000 nautical miles which equates to about 4,603 miles respectively. Well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I'd like to know if you got this particular model or you plan on getting it. The only outside chance of getting this aircraft model now is on eBay if you can find it there. If you can't find it there, you're pretty much out of luck. However, there's another version JC Wing just dropped. is the XLR, the extra long range version. I have ordered that. I will be getting that pretty soon. Looking forward to doing a review on that as well. So in the meantime, take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more content coming. Peace.